Good morning, students and teachers. This is Todd Horwich from HighSchoolInvesting.com, coming to you from the floor of the CME Group in Chicago. And as we continue our learning on the different phases of the market, we remain in that consolidation phase in which you've been talking about for now, it seems like years, but it's been weeks. But I think there's some very interesting things that you need to note as you start to watch and learn how the markets develop and how the money flow goes through the markets, okay? As we go back, if we take a look at this last Friday, we had a GDP number which came out and was a bullish number. The markets really didn't move. They kind of hung towards that lower end of the consolidation range. Then we had that announcement about Hillary Clinton and the, and the emails. And of course, the markets took a little bit of exception to that and started to panic down. But what I want you to do is I want you to look at the chart of the SPX and see where it stopped. It stopped right on a support level, which you would have expected it to stop, which is, un, which is telling you that the markets themselves are not ready to break out of this consolidation range yet. And this is something that becomes very important because if you're a trend trader, which most of you will be, you'll be looking to trade the longer term trend and most will be to the upside, which is fine. But until we can break out of that trend and get to the next phase of the market, you have to continue to watch these levels. Because again, if you take a look, for example, at oil, an oil chart, we reached the top, we've now broken to the downside of consolidation and today, as I speak, the, the, a pipeline had just broken, broken and oil should be spiking and it's not. It's going up very little, telling you that it doesn't really matter. So the, the key here is to understand is that it's really more the money flow and the chart pattern versus what the fundamental news happens to be. Because the money will always tell you and the money is always right as the market's always right. So remember this watch the pattern, we came down to that 2120 level, we've got a huge week in front of us, so it should be interesting by the time we talk again next Tuesday, we've got the FOMC, we've got the Bank of Japan, the Bank of England, and the jobs number. So we should be able to break out of this range this week at some point. Let's see how it plays out. This is Todd Horwich from highschoolinvesting.com, coming to you from the floor of the CME Group in Chicago.